So YouTube, team keep it clean What's going on, it's Engraven here With another video Before we get into this video um, Shout out to everybody that was at training camp Yesterday, yesterday being Thursday And shout out to anybody that's going to be going uh, Today, we about to get ready in a little bit And head up that way um, But yesterday was super fun Shout out to my guy uh, Darius Who was working there I know Nana was there um, we got to meet a lot of people, man A whole lot of people um, Got to meet Lacey DaCosta For the first time in person uh, Got to meet the NFL chick Shout out to Rita Special shout out to Rita uh, Got to say what's up to, to Ryan Mink Got to uh, meet Garrett Downing in person for the first time And, and Garrett Downing asked He was like, oh, what's, um, what's your recap for training camp gonna be? I said, okay, I see you, Garrett. I appreciate that, man. I, and I really did appreciate it a lot. And got to meet a, a, just a, a lot of people, man. So anybody um, that we got to meet, I appreciate you. I appreciate y'all supporting. Um, thank you. For real, man. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I didn't even really get to... Um, to watch that much of training camp Oh shout out to Mama Nea um, But yeah I didn't even really get to watch that much of training camp Because we were so busy talking Like most of the time um, But from what we did see I, I did see the the, the famous uh, Isaiah Likely play Where he beat uh, Brandon Stevens And somebody else too I forgot who the other person he beat was But Lamar hit him on the money um, And from what I saw yesterday From Lamar Jackson um, all the stuff is true All the rumors are true People saying Oh man he looks like he, He's obviously bigger He certainly is And, and we know that uh, As training camp goes along He's gonna lose Some of the weight But he still will be Significantly bigger uh, Cause you know When training camp hits They, they start putting on the pads They out there in that sun uh, So that sun is gonna It's gonna shed some of the weight But he's still gonna be Significantly bigger I don't expect him to play at 220 uh, But we'll see We'll see We'll see what happens Um but he did. He was very decisive. Uh, he was very on point from what I saw. And again, he, he looked good. It's, it's training camp. Uh, and I know some people will say, oh, it's just training camp. What does it matter? That's where it starts, though. So we, we don't want to just discount training camp because they not doing 11 on 11. They not tackling. And, and it was a toned down training camp. They didn't do what I was looking forward to the most, the one on ones. Um, I, I I love those so much, but they didn't really they didn't really do those, and we know they, they they're gonna be toning down training camp a bit, um, cause they don't want to deal with the injuries, so it's it's understandable. But anyway, um, in today's video, I, I, I've seen a lot of the quotes about Lamar Jackson's contract, and some of the quotes that I saw, um, they make it sound like either something's getting ready to happen like right away, or it's not gonna happen at all to me it some of the quotes it made it sound like something like getting ready to happen like asap like literally any day now um but what i wanted to do and we're gonna do something a little bit different uh because i haven't got a chance to watch the presser yet because we were we were there yesterday um oh and real quick before we get into it special shout out to pepe to demarion williams because this dude like he i i love this dude man because he, you know how in training camp they let the kids line up to to get autographs and whatever, um, and I I never really was anybody that really cared for autographs. Um, I I do like getting to meet somebody, like meet a player or whatever, or take a picture with them, whatever. But um, so we had Carter lined up for the autographs, and Pepe he came over, he was signing a bunch of kids' footballs and stuff and their jerseys and whatever, and he he signed Carter's jersey, but he kneeled down. He asked Carter, hey, what's your name? He asked him, um, do you want to play football? He said, do you like football? Do you want to play football? Uh, he was asking him all these questions. And so he, he took the time, because there's a bunch of kids who he's signing stuff for, but he took the time to kneel down, sit down, talk to Carter, um, and have a conversation with him. And, and, and out of all these kids that he's doing stuff for, and, and I really, really appreciated that. And then on top of that, um, one of my guys, he had gave me this, this number seven. Uh, to try my guy Dimitri He gave me this number 7 To have signed by Rashad Bateman So Pepe he saw that And he um, While he was talking to Carter He saw that 7 And Bateman was running And he was like Bate 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 And he was, he was He was trying to call Bateman over So Bateman could make sure That number 7 got signed uh, For Carter So that, that was just special man So I, I, I love that dude man I, I love him and I appreciate it. Shout out to Bateman too, because Bateman did end up coming over and Bateman ended up signing that thing too. So they just, 
I, I just appreciated that like crazy, man. Because like I said, people do something for me. Yeah, cool. It's fine. And I appreciate it. But people do something for Carter. Man, that's that's like super special, man. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do in this video, again, something a little different that we never do. We never do it like this, but we're going to watch this. Uh, well, not really watch it. I guess you'll kind of like hear it in the background. But I'm going to watch this Lamar Jackson presser live. Well, not live, but I'm going to watch it and... um. We'll just go piece by piece and break it down piece by piece. Because um, usually y'all know how we do. We'll listen to it and then we'll be able to extract everything from it and say what we got from it. But not while we listen to it together. So this time we're going to listen to it together. But anyway, here it goes. Whew. I don't know how these players in hardball be hearing when these kids be yelling in the background. And people be yelling in the background. You're trying to be great, you know, you trying to work your tail off, it's going to be negativity. But you know, they hated Jesus. I'm not Jesus, so I don't, I don't really worry about it. Oh, so that was about the um the anonymous quote that all the, and these these anonymous people, like, it, this is how you could tell somebody really ain't feeling something that they're saying. Because if you really believed in something that you said, you put your name on it. You put your name on it. You're not going to be like, oh, you know what? Keep this anonymous because I don't want to get out there that it came from me. Like, come on now. Okay, I appreciate you, Ma. I appreciate you, for sure. Oh, it's Rita asking a question. I was on vacation. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. No, I seen, I seen it. wasn't really no rant. You know, I was just having fun. I just oh. Having fun. And I'm like, dang, why you always got something to say about the Ravens or me? This, this is about Bernard Pollard. That's all good. I don't got no problem with him. <laughs> and yeah, we know ever since that whole little thing that they got into on Twitter, uh, Lamar, he publicly roasted Bernard Pollard, but then he publicly apologized to Bernard Pollard. Um, but then Bernard Pollard, see, that's why I don't agree with a lot of stuff that Bernard Pollard says. But Bernard Pollard, one thing that I, res I look, again. I don't. I don't agree with his opinion, but I do respect that he puts his name on it. He don't hide behind no anonymous quote, even though he be saying some reckless stuff. It's like, all right, that reckless stuff came from Bernard Pollard. It ain't come from an, anon an anonymous quote. And then even the other day, like somebody had tweeted him, um, and they thought that he was talking about the Ravens, but he said he wasn't talking about the Ravens. But he even said, "Hey, but I still stand by what I said." About the Ravens So he ain't back down on it or nothing he, I, I think a lot of what he said is wrong But hey, it's, it is what it is I really don't go at him, you know I just respond You know, they, they want conversation I just give them the conversation <laughs> But they really don't do nothing though. They don't be serious I don't be mad at anything like, I just be engaging so 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 Lamar clearing it up that stuff that a lot of people said don't really get him mad they just be engaging with him. Um, I I don't know I don't know if I believe that I don't know man because I I just he's in such a tough position like we always talk about man he is in such a tough position where people every single day um, they are talking about this man recklessly. Whether it's anonymously, some people put their name behind it, but reckless every sing, literally, literally every single day, and it's not gonna stop either. But, but he said he don't get mad, so he don't get mad. Um, we still, you know, we still negotiating right now. Okay, th this is what I want to hear. He said they're still negotiating about the contract. Okay. Whenever we do, whenever we have free time, you know, mutual free time. I like that. Mutual free time. We working right now. I'm in camp right now. Oh, that old. Oh, that's the. That's putting pressure on him. I like that because, and <laughs> another thing too. <coughs> excuse me. That I saw is that um, you saw the video where Harbaugh and Bashadi, they were while Lamar was talking, they were up upstairs just watching it. They were watching everything he was saying. So you. And that's different. And it was brought out by several several people that they, they never do stuff like that. They never sit there and watch a player's presser. So it's it's ticking down, man. It, it, it's it's got to be ticking down to Lamar Jackson and the Ravens coming to an agreement. And that statement that he just said, um, I, I feel like that's him just, again, subtle hints to say, hey, let's get it done. 
hey, let's make it happen. Hey, we close, but next time we speak, it we need to get a, a, a lot closer. Like we need to let's let's try to get this. Th- let's try to make this thing happen. That's what it sounds like to me. Because when he talked about uh, mutual time, when when both of us have mutual time to uh, to get it done, that's when we talk. He said he's busy right now. He obviously in training camp and stuff. But when they both have that that mutual time, oh yeah yeah yeah. That's 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 that little subtle reminder. Like hey, let's make it happen. Oh, shout out real quick because he's answering a question from Jeff Zrebic. <laughs> shout, shout out to, to Jeff Zrebic and Jameson because yesterday at the training camp, they were walking together. And I was like, what's up, Jeff? What's up, Jameson? And they both looked over and said, hey, but I know they were probably thinking, like, who, who is that guy? Who was he yelling at us? And I said, what's up to Clifton Brown and um and Jerry Sandusky? And they said, well, everybody was nice, but um it, it was just funny because they were probably, I know they were probably thinking like, oh, who's that guy? But nobody was saying what's up to him. So I'm like, hey, let me say what's up to them. Anyway, let's keep going. And shout out to Kyle Barber too, man. Oh man, I want to win at the end of the day. You know, I just want to be great. You know, I just want to work with my brothers at the end of the day. I want to, you know, leave them out there hanging. No, that's not me. That's never been me. So that was about the uh, possible holdout, or really a possible hold in uh, from Lamar Jackson. That so many uh, analysts and media and reporters. What they wanted to happen And what they were talking about Oh is Lamar Jackson gonna do it One thing And you know what I guess I gotta go back On something that I, I said earlier About Lamar Jackson Saying that um, He said he don't get mad When people be talking about him And all that He just said he'd be engaging with him Or whatever But he don't get mad uh, So I gotta take his word for it Reason being because With Lamar Jackson um, He has uh, been a man of his word uh, Everything that he says um He's going to do He's going to participate in He, he makes it happen um, So One of the things That he said A while back He said No nah, I'm not going to hold out He did put a little pressure on him uh, Because they did ask uh, And this was like A month ago Or two months ago Whenever When he They asked him um, So do you expect to, to go To play this season Without a deal And he I think he said Like we'll see you I don't know Something like that So that was, that was a pressure But he did say that He wasn't going to hold out he said that And he said that I think last year too And like um, I think Was it a podcast With Minkin down there I think it might have been I think I think it was But yeah He said this last year too That he wasn't gonna hold out And here we are I know a lot of reporters They, they don't watch Every single podcast And they don't keep up With the stuff like that But still He's already said multiple times He's not gonna hold out And here he is Not holding out Not holding in He could have I mean he would've got fined too I think what fifty k a day, something like that. But he's here, and he said he wanted to work with his brothers um, because, and and I can get that too. You you, you still want to get stuff done, but this also, man, this really because again with Lamar Jackson, he could have hold, he could have held out, he could have held out. But for him, it's it's like it would be a lose lose. Obviously, whatever he does with the media. Well, for the media, a lot of it's going to be a loss because they're not going to ever, not necessarily not appreciate anything he does, but they're going to tear him down for anything he does. But um, <clears throat> with the, uh, if he were to hold out, then he would have lost the time with his with his teammates. He would have lost the 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 rapport, the chemistry with his teammates. So they, um, I mean, he could it would have put pressure on the Ravens now. But at the same time, he would have lost that rapport. So with him not holding out or holding in, it's, it's a good thing. And it shows shows leadership, too. So, yeah. I appreciate y'all. I mean, I don't talk to those people who saying that, so they don't know what I got going on. They don't know what I'm thinking. No, that's just he say, she say, really, but nobody know what I'm thinking. Okay, so L- L- Lamar asked a question. He was asked a question about what people, uh, the term him betting on himself, and, and how that's going and whatnot. And he said they don't know what I'm thinking. He said only people upstairs know what I'm thinking. I like that. He threw it back up to the Costa. <laughs> okay, now negotiating at its finest. Mm. And right there again, pressure. Public negotiation tactics. He said there's probably going to be a cutoff at some point. 
So that's another reminder. Hey, let's make this happen. If we don't make this happen now, I ain't talking no more. I'm not talking no more. I'm going to still play, play. I'm going to still play. But I ain't talking no more. Again, public negotiation. That's all that that is. I love it though. Shout out to the birds. Okay, yeah. So we're having mutual conversations. I'm going to keep that in house. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Nah, not really. Um, some people say, oh, why you eating that? But I feel like I'm good. Like, I ate, all my, ate certain foods all my life. Uh, and I'm, I'm feeling like I'm in shape. I'm running good, I'm moving good, throwing good. I feel good. Okay. I ain't really changed. Just fucked uh, up a little. Oh, okay. Must 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 ask him about his his, his diet and whatnot. Um, he said he's been eating the same thing pretty much all his life, and ain't nothing changed but his age. Man, these these post training camp presses are hard to hear. It's hard to hear their questions, and then of course with all these birds out here too. <laughs> it, it, okay. He said he didn't change his grip on the ball. Cool. I mean, the the contract, well, that's the biggest thing that I wanted to hear about. And I wanted to hear exactly how he said it. Man, my apologies. This camera is so annoying sometimes. It, it, it overheats so easily, so it cuts off. But anyway, um, I did. I listened to the rest of the Lamar Jackson presser. Um, and he just talked about how he likes his business uh, remaining his business. He talked about how him and, and, and Proche and do I mean, and Bateman, uh, they worked when they worked together this off season. Uh, they worked on a lot of over the top throws and whatnot. And then, um, yeah, it was just uh, with the contract. Um, he he also again, like we mentioned earlier, he said uh, that there will be the uh, the cutoff time. And they asked if if this they th if he thinks something is gonna get done uh, before the season. And he said, yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see. So again. Um, a lot of negotiation here uh, from Lamar Jackson with the Ravens. A lot of public negotiation. So, you know, there's also a lot. If there's public negotiation like this, then there's a lot of private negotiation. Um, so what it seems like to me is that literally any day now, man, any day now um, that a, a contract is going to be agreed upon. Right now, the way that he's been talking, especially these past two presses, um, I remember the, the presser before this one where he really put that pressure on the he really put that pressure on the Ravens. He really did. Um, but this one, this one wasn't as forceful, but it was still a pretty powerful presser. Um, and it's him letting the world know, hey, we're talking, and they they better come right, they better come correct. Uh, and Ravens know that. Right, Ravens know that. Um, they try to lowball him. It ain't gonna work. They try to give him a cheap deal. But it ain't gonna work. They try to give him low guaranteed money. It ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. So, I'm, I'm sure it, it just it sounds like everything is coming together. That's what it really sounds like. It sounds like everything is coming together, and now it's only a matter of time. Um, so I think it gets done. Uh, yeah, any day now. Um, yeah, any day now. <laughs> so <laughs> it's. Who knows when it's gonna be, but yeah, definitely before the season. It, it's looking like it is. It, this contract gonna pop off, man. So it it would definitely be more than Kyler Murray's, for sure. The average per year would be more than Kyler Murray's. Deshaun uh, Watson. I was about to say Deshaun Jackson. Um, now will Lamar ask for up there with Aaron Rodgers? Ooh, I don't know, man. I don't know. We're gonna see, man. Because I think Kyler getting, Deshaun getting 46, Kyler getting 46.1, I think Aaron Rodgers getting 50. Um, so, we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Because initially I would be like, oh, no, nah, he ain't going to ask for that. But at the same time, hey, who knows? Who knows? Um, but I think right now, maybe maybe like 47, 48, whatever it is, man, Lamar going to get paid. He going to get paid a lot of money. A lot of money. Kyler Murray contract was nice, man. But Lamar is going to exceed that. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, um, Derek Wolf, he he retired. Oh, could you believe that? He actually retired. Uh, even though, like, we knew he was on the way to retirement, man. Um, but, see, Derek Wolf, he played the game. He played the game. I ain't mad at him, but he, he played the game. 
He he, he played the Ravens. He ended up hey, let's let's settle. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my surgery a little bit late. Uh, y'all still got this guaranteed money owed to me. Uh, and then they released him with the injury settlement, so he still got to get some bread from them on his way out. He's like, ah, right, okay, cool, I'm good. All right, let me retire now. I'm straight. Um, and then, oh, the Kyler Murray contract too, with that whole little goofy, the study time hours. That this, it's just been a whole goofy mess. Some of the memes that came from it have been really funny though. But anyway, man, Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I know this video is kind of different. It's a little weird, but I appreciate everybody that that sat through it and, and enjoyed it. I love y'all. Y'all have a really good day. I see everybody out at training camp. Hopefully, we get to focus a little more today, but probably not because probably going to be running our mouths to somebody. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We out.